All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another daily video. Now, today's video is going to be on goals. And pff, I know you've heard it all before. Goals, it's fucking simple. It's fucking easy. But the thing about goals is they're actually really useful. And a lot of people have goals but they don't write them down. And the difference between having a goal in your mind and then writing it down is when you write down a goal, you've materialized it. It just reaffirms it a little bit more. And for me personally, I've had short-term goals as of late and daily goals. You know, one of my daily goals right now is to walk over 20,000 steps a day. And so far, I'm doing that. Uh, today, I did just under 22,000 steps, which is roughly three and a half hours of walking. Now, the reason why I walk a lot is, well, I've got more spare time. Um, soon, I won't have much spare time, but 20,000 and for me, 20,000 is a lot of steps. It's a lot of walking. But the goal is so high because even if I fall short of that goal, falling short is going to be better than if I set a smaller goal for myself. You know, most Westerners don't get more than 10,000 steps a day. And if you set your goal short, at say 10,000 steps a day, then if you hit 8,000 steps, you're going to be like, okay, well, I was close. It was a pretty good day. But really, that's fucking shit, right? So when you set a goal, aim big. If I hit 18,000 steps today, did I fall short of my goal? Yes. But that's 18,000 motherfucking steps. 8,000 more than if 10K was your goal. You know what I'm saying? And goal setting is a mindset and a perception. Okay? So remember that. Set goals for yourself. The reason why this is part of the seven video series is this is a digital journey, a digital journal, sorry, for myself. Because I want to look back and see my progression, but also share my progression with you guys. Eventually, one day, I'm going to be a highly driven, highly successful, highly ambitious person. And a lot of motivational people get into motivation when they're at the top. Does it make it more credible? Sure. But no one gets to see the fucking journey. It's rare that there's motivational people that you see the journey, you see the struggle, you see the failures after failures after failures after immeasurable, innumerable amount of losses and setbacks and mental problems and mental blocks and blockades and things that take them off track. And part of this journey is I want to document what it looks like to go from nothing, to go from in the dirt, to becoming someone successful. And the reason why I've adopted this mindset is, well, not only is it a great mindset, but I was thinking to myself a few weeks ago, you know, I was ambitious. I wanted to start a charity and I still do want to start a charity. But I realized one thing, you need money. You need a vision, but a vision's free, cool. You need a voice, and a voice is free as well. You, it just costs your time and effort. That's fine, cool. However, lawyers aren't free. Volunteers, you know, volunteers are cool. But if you want to grow an organization massively, 
You're going to have to pay people. Services aren't free. So I realized that, fuck, okay, I need to become successful so I can generate a lot of money. You know, I need to work on hustles. I need to work on making money right now. Money is my focus. Because with money, you can make change. Now, I could go down the route and just solely focus on being the voice and working hard at that. And and sure, I'll, I'll get money. I could raise some money. Sure. However, if I chase money myself, become successful myself, bring people up with me, and work on projecting a voice, then the organization is going to be far more successful. So daily goals are important. 20,000 steps a day. 10 design logos uploaded to my online shop a day. As soon as I wake up in the morning, hop straight into the shower. Brush my teeth twice a day. Just little things like that will keep you in routine and keep you going. So if I were you guys, do yourself a favor, set some daily goals, and do your best not to stray from them. Now, short-term goals are important as well. Short-term goals to me uh, could be a week, could be a month, could be a quarter. But one of my short-term goals, and I've had this goal for about two weeks now, was to get a job because I need an income to move to the next stage of life. And I achieved that goal today. On Friday, I start a job. It's a sales job. And it's in, I guess you'd call it the housing industry. It's to do with mortgages. And this job, it's going to be a commission job. And a lot of people hate commission. Commission scares them. Because if you don't perform, you don't get paid. A lot of people are happy with a paycheck. They're happy to work a set price for a set amount of hours. And that, my friends, is the trap. That is fucking slavery. The reason why I like commission is because the better you get, the more money you'll make. I could easily and will easily or simply easily, whatever you want to call it. But I know I can reach a point where I can earn more in a week than most Australians can earn in a month. I know that for a fact. And it's all about getting back to that point reaching that height that I've been at in the past. But this time around, not only reach it, but surpass it and continue to surpass it. So I will be working with mortgages. It will be commission. And my goal is to, my first milestone is I want to make 1500 a week. 1500 a week and then 3000 a week and then once I'm at the 3k mark it's time to up my game it's time to take on a new sales role it's time to put myself out there even further and I would like this to happen within the next 3 months that's my short term goal is in the next 3 months to be making $3000 a week purely from my nine to five. My next short term goal is to have three sources of revenue in the next three months, three different avenues of income. If I make more than three revenue sources, brilliant. But the bar is set at three, but let's aim for six. Let's get six revenue streams in the next three months. 
Because at the end of the day, guys, comfort is a fucking killer. A lot of scientists are now finding that fasting is so beneficial to your body because when you put your cells in an uncomfortable state, i.e. starvation, they work harder to protect themselves. They become stronger. And it's the same thing with life. If I hadn't spent years out on the streets, being homeless would be a treacherous, terrifying, lonely, depressing existence. If I wasn't bullied for many years, getting made fun of, picked on, trolled, hated, would be a sad, depressing, terrible experience. But because of the things I've gone through, the things I've done, the things I've seen, the heartaches, the pitfalls, I'm now a stronger person for that. Am I behind the rat race? Probably. I'm 29 this month. I'm 29 this month, all right? And I was homeless just a couple of weeks ago, living on the street. Whereas many people, are, you know, they might have a mortgage, probably less than you would think, I would, I would assume. But a lot of people my age have a car. They probably have a, a partner, a girlfriend, boyfriend. Nowadays, they, fuck, they got like 20 of them. Probably have a couple of kids, dirt bike, nice TV, whatever the case may be. Me personally, I think that's irrelevant. But the point I'm trying to make is there's a lot of people my age and younger that are further in life than I am. And... I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Because I know I have the ability to fast track. All of us have the ability to fast track. And goal setting is a very powerful tool to achieve that. So I'm going to continue with these goals. And I'm going to continue pushing on. And as the weeks go by, I'm going to be setting more and more goals. I'm going to be making life harder and harder for myself. Once I achieve a certain level and plateau, then the next level happens. And I would encourage you guys to do this with me. Because you're going to see my progress. And when you see me in a year time... Having made substantial progress, I don't want you to be that person that's been watching for a year and done fuck all with your life and achieve fuck all and watch me go out and do incredible things, amazing things, work hard, sacrifice. I want you to be doing the same thing because a society where everyone works hard to be the best version of themselves possible is a society that's going to end homelessness, is going to stamp out the bullshit that's happening with families, it will stamp out crime, stamp out neglect, stamp out abuse, and we will all become better because of that. And just remember, guys, start today with what you've got so tomorrow you can get what you need. If you only have one goal in mind today, write that one down. So tomorrow, when you smash that goal and conquer that challenge, you'll then have the capacity to challenge yourself more. Much love, peace out, and remember guys, join the Discord, 
I haven't done too much work on it yet, but that is in the pipeline to spruce it up more and make it more of a social hangout and a place where you can meet nice, like-minded people and a place where you can discuss ideas and grow as a human being.